What is up my YouTube friends? I'm always looking for things that I can do to tweak my live streams to make my life easier. Let's face it, when you're live streaming, there are a million screens and a million things to look at all at once. I'm always looking for awesome tricks in OBS that can help make my live streaming broadcast easier. And I've always struggled with having multiple chat windows opened and all that stuff, especially if I stream to multiple platforms. It's a gigantic pain in the butt. And how do you even keep up with all those chat windows? Today I'm going to show you how to create a dockable panel for your live chat right in OBS. It's friggin epic. Now unfortunately for my Mac brothers and sisters out there, this one isn't going to work for you. They haven't integrated this feature into OBS for Mac just yet. But for those Windows folks out there, you're going to friggin love this. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content that comes out. Okay, so to show you how to do this, I have a screen set up right over here. I'm going to start a live broadcast. Then I'm going to show you how to embed the chat for that live broadcast right over here. It's going to be awesome. So the first thing I need to do is I have the broadcast over here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go into settings. And I'm going to set up my stream so that that's where I'm going to. And there we go. We'll apply that. Click OK. And now I should be able to start streaming. And this should tell me that we're streaming. We have an excellent condition stream. We're good to go. Beautiful. Beautiful. We'll give it a second. Let it catch up. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds for these things to buffer up. So it says it looks like we're ready to go live. Let's go ahead and go live. And once we are live, we're going to go down here and I'm going to pop out the chat real quick. And a lot of people do this. They'll pop out the chat. They'll have it next to the thing. Well, I'm going to show you how you don't have to do that anymore. You just take this link and you copy it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up here into view and we're going to go to docs and we're going to go to custom browser docs. And I'm going to put the doc name here, chat. And we're going to just add that URL in there. And we're going to apply. And now we have this chat and we just drag it over where we want to dock it. And boom. Look at that. Now I have my chat docked right in here. I can just go, hello. I can reply. I can interact. I can do anything I want. You can see it showed up on both chats. If you're using a multi-chat tool like Restream.io, all you have to do is take the same URL from there, paste it in, and then you can use that so that you can have access to all the chats that you're using. I mean, how simple is this tool? It's awesome. Now, the only drawback is that every time you go live, you have to go back into view and then into docs and custom browser docs and you're just going to have to paste in the new URL for the chat but I mean seriously once you do that you know you can have a full doc right here man this makes it so easy this makes it so easy this is like the tip of a lifetime if this tip makes your broadcasting life easier let me know in the comments I love to hear your comments if you're interested in knowing how to create a custom overlay for your live stream, check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.